So how big does God say his house is? His giant motor home in the sky, how big does he say it is? <laughs> From his word, his book, he put in there, and I'm going to put it down below in the thing so you can expand it and see, that whole chapter 21, Revelation chapter 1, 21, he describes, he gives us actual measuring data on how big his house is, his giant motor home in the sky, his heaven castle ship. Dimensions, okay, 12,000 furlongs by 12,000 furlongs by 12,000 furlongs, length, width, height, same. But how long is a furlong? Furlong is an eighth of a mile. Eighth of a mile, 12,000 eighths of a mile, that equals 1,500 miles by 1,500 miles by 1,500 miles. <laughs> but to wrap your brain, <laughs> I'm going to say something that will help you wrap your brain around how big that actually is. His description of his house. If you went to... Let's say a stairway inside of that ship of his. If you were to go on a stairway inside of that ship and start walking up the steps, at a rate of one step per second going up the steps, how long would it take to get to the top? If you walked one step per second, eight hours a day, six days a week, for one year <laughs> that would get you to the top you get that one step per second eight hours a day six days a week for one year and you could walk from the the bottom to the top 1500 miles up but you have a thing that you have to encounter <laughs> he describes on his ship the heaven castle ship there being trees on it and rivers on it and we can see what he has made around here this is all okay his creation planet earth the way he does stuff we have atmosphere we have oxygen we have trees the trees inhale carbon dioxide and they exhale oxygen actually it's one pound of carbon dioxide one pound of oxygen one pound of tree growth <laughs> Unique how it works that way, but that's the ratios that it is. For every pound of carbon dioxide they inhale, they exhale through photosynthesis one pound of oxygen and produce one pound of tree growth. But where there is that and the atmosphere, and you go, well, how many decks are on the ship? It has to have decks. If you've got 1,500 miles up to the ceiling, that's just kind of stupid. So, if you have an atmosphere of what? Uh, every time you go up, how far? Say five miles. Every five miles up, that's uh, almost 30,000 feet. And uh, then one atmosphere, because if you went up on a mountain and we're 30,000 feet up, you'd be way past the tree line. And jets flying up in the sky, you know, the ones laying down those uh, chemtrails and stuff. Just flying up in the sky, uh, 30,000 feet up there is a long ways. That's five miles. Well, if you got a mile for each deck for the for the floor system and then four miles of atmosphere, you know, it would look, you could, with his lighting system on his ship, you couldn't tell the difference of being on planet Earth or on his ship. I think that's the way it is. That's my opinion. But <laughs> one deck every five miles that would put 300 decks and the size of it okay the size of it of 300 decks and at a 1500 miles by 1500 miles that puts the surface area of that ship equal to three times the surface area of this planet earth the floor space on his ship if there's one deck every five miles in height two, 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 two. that gives space for 300 decks at five miles per deck and that makes it equivalent to the floor space of his giant motor home in the sky the heaven castle ship it makes it and this is according to his description in revelation chapter 21 
that makes the size of it, the floor space of it, equal to three times the surface area of the Earth or 12 times the land mass of the Earth. Okay? Apparently, he dreams really big. And if you can dream it, you can do it and enjoy the journey as you go. Oh, if you would please, like, subscribe, and share. That'll beat the <laughs> Google YouTube algorithms. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, enjoy the journey.